If you want to make some picks on your favorite sports, check out Underdog Fantasy's Pick'em Game where you choose higher or lower on between two to eight players and can win up to 325 times your entry. And using code ZERK when you sign up, you'll get up to $1,000 in bonus cash and a free pick. The whole thing wobbing. So it looks like EA went ahead this morning and not only was pushing out more make rights to everybody for their ultimate alumni and rookie premieres, but a lot of us got extras. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Jets on Top for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Notification bell on to come down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, last Sunday we had my greatest NFL Sunday ever of picks. We had over $3,000 in wins, and I'm looking to make that even more today. I have a bunch of picks posted up on my Twitter right now, and we have NFL discounts which honestly may be up by the time you guys are seeing this video and if you guys check out underdog fantasy right now using code zerk you'll get up to a thousand dollars in bonus funds this josh allen 0.5 yards free pick and you guys will get this cd lamb 0.5 yards free pick as well be on the lookout like i said we should have some nfl discounts coming in this morning you may only have a couple of hours to use those and if you guys check out underdog fantasy using code zerk at any time you're gonna get a 0.5 yards free pick today but if you get him before 4 p.m with cd lamb you'll get two all right so as you guys can see i just logged in and this is what i I got now as you guys know okay i actually already have my ultimate alumni and i also have my rookie premier champion so this is extra i'm not supposed to have these uh they also gave me a game time fantasy pack which i think this is from like some sort of other make right which i must have not received all of my make rights from that just yet uh game time fantasy pack yeah wasn't uh wasn't expecting too much there but it does look like ea went ahead and pushed out make rights to everybody i do know i was missing this this actually i was missing my final rookie premiere token but a ton of you guys this morning got ultimate alumni rookie premieres and even if you have all of your stuff you've probably got extra so make sure you guys check out your account that being said uh this is very very interesting here because a lot of you guys have been asking me what are the best rookie premieres to pick what are the best ultimate alumni to pick and i did already make a video about like a week ago at this point kind of talking about the best ones to pick but now we're getting extras so this makes the choice actually a lot harder and uh, as you guys can see, in terms of, in my opinion, the best players to pick here from Rookie Premier and also from Ultimate Alumni, J.C. Latham to me is number one, okay? He's 80 overall left tackle. You pick him up, you have your left tackle basically for a very, very long time. Now, I know some people don't like that answer because they have Tyron Smith. You do know that Tyron Smith gets right tackle secondary, and you can just put him in right tackle. He's like an 84 overall if you have maxed at 88 at uh, right tackle. It doesn't matter. It brings down his awareness, whatever. I've never noticed really much of a difference playing somebody out of position. So if that's the reason why you're not taking J.C. Latham, I don't think that's a great reason. You could definitely have J.C. Latham and the Tyron Smith from season two. And guess what? You have your left and your right tackle. You're totally fine unless you care about your overall. I don't care. J.C. Latham, though, I feel like is long-term, like, the best option. The issue comes when you have your 85 overall rookie premieres, and then you have to pick all these new 88s, because, like, a lot of you guys, for my 85 overall rookie premieres, I chose J.C. Latham, uh, I went with Dallas Turner, and I went with Terry and Arnold. Now, uh, I did get three new 88s, right? So I'm not taking J.C. Latham again. I did go with Roma Dunze already for one of my 88s. I have him on the team. Then I actually ended up going with Terry and Arnold again, simply because the 85 overall Terry and Arnold, uh, he wasn't good enough to necessarily start as you guys see 85 speed, right? The 88 is amazing. One of the absolute best cornerbacks in the game. And then for my final 88 overall, I actually went with Tyler Newbin just simply because I wanted to get another safety out there. I personally use four safeties on my field. So having Tyler Newbin out there, that gave me another option. Now is the issue though, for me personally, uh, I have Arnold, I have Tyler Newbin, I have Roma Dunze, I have 85 JC Latham, so now my options are pretty slim here. Do I go with Jaden Daniels, which, to be honest, Caleb Williams is so cheap right now, he's like 600k, I feel like he's worth going with, uh, as you guys know, I've already talked about it, the card's been leaked, Will Levis is actually coming out this upcoming Thursday with the Breakouts promo part two, right? And that card's gonna have the Aaron Rodgers release. He's gonna be very similar to Jordan Love, and he's a champion. So he's gonna be a bit cheaper. I don't like taking quarterbacks necessarily as B&D, but in terms of getting use out of these players uh, long-term, right? Braden Fisk right here, you know, this card is solid. He does have 81 speed. He's got 88 Excel, 88 strength, uh, 87 block shed, 89 power move. 
We have an issue that we'll talk about with the Ultimate Alumni. Uh, Dallas Turner is solid. I don't really care for Jonathan Brooks at this point. Uh, Dallas Turner, you know, he's got 85 speed, 89 acceleration. He's got 87 strength, 88 blocks, 87 power move. But I already have Brian Burns at right outside linebacker. And then at left outside linebacker, I currently have... Where is my... Yeah, I have uh, Dallas Turner on the other side. So, do I just replace the Dallas Turner now with this upgraded Dallas Turner? Because if I'm just going to take somebody that I already have, as much as I really don't want to, I'd probably just go with J.C. Latham and take the 88, since I already have the 85 overall J.C. Latham. Just get an even more long-term player, because honestly, Brooks won't be on my team very much. Uh, Brayden Fisk won't be on my team. I don't want a BND quarterback, to be honest. I'm just not going to rock out with Jaden Daniels for long. Dallas Turner is really, really good, but in terms of how long will I use the card, probably not super long. Not what I wanted to do, but simply because I got an extra, okay? I'm just going to take J.C. Latham again. I went ahead and chose J.C. Latham again. And then the reason why I didn't go with the Braden Fist, by the way, is because, again, I got another Ultimate Alumni. And in terms of the Ultimate Alumni, guys, I already went with Saquon Barkley. I've been using this Saquon card. He's pretty good. 88 speed, 87 excel, right? 88 agility. He's got uh, good carrying, solid catching, change of direction, truck, break, tackle, all that. Then we have the Josh Hines Allen, which is all right. You know, it's an all right card. Uh, but again, I have Brian Burns, so don't really need the Josh Hines Allen, which leaves me with Miles Garrett. And I do have Micah Parsons. And as you guys know, okay, you see it, right? Cowboys fan. Micah Parsons is going nowhere. However, Max Crosby, you've been pretty good for me, but Miles Garrett has 88 strength, 85 block shed. He also has 88 power move, great speed, great excel. Yeah, Miles Garrett is going to be coming to the team. So if you guys didn't end up getting your old alumni players, your rookie from years, check your accounts. These actually rolled out, I think like super late last night. I saw people on Twitter having them at like midnight 12 30 whatever uh i got mine i just logged in this morning so yeah i didn't log in last night but i know a lot of people were getting them last night maybe you guys got them as well but if you got extras i feel like at this point saquon and miles garrett those are two to go with with the old alumni rookie premier it's kind of hard if you already have your 85s and you got you know your rounds of the 88s and then you get an extra i guess just because long term speaking right J.C. Latham is going to be long-term the best option. Uh, again, go with Tyron Smith. Go with J.C. Latham. You have your tackles for probably the next, I don't even know, month and a half probably, to be honest with you. Even when there's 90 overall offensive linemen coming out, it doesn't really make that big of a difference until we start to get like crazy, crazy abilities. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Make sure to check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code Zerk. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. I have a bunch of picks up right now for 1 p.m. I'll have picks up for 4 p.m. and for the night game as well. Uh, pack and play was going to be posted early this morning, but... Of course, doing this video now, pack and play will be posted this afternoon, so be on the lookout there. AKA Reveals, will likely see those this afternoon as well. Follow me over on Twitter, I'll probably just make a community tab post over here. So, hope you guys enjoyed, drop a like on it, hit that sub button down below, make sure to check out Underdog Fantasy, use code Zerk. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks, I'll see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.